Welcome to another preliminary episode of your favorite STEM competition in Nigeria, InterSwitch Spark Nigeria 4.0. On today's episode, we have nine Super Sparks, all from two schools. Which school will have your Super Spark proceed to the semi final? Is it at Daydoku International Schools or Mount Olive College? This week's episode will feature Stephen Umwaneri, Azim Akimiade, Farida Garba, Omobolaji Akijobi, and Daniel Omosui from Adedoku International Schools, and Uche Umwa Kosisuchuku, Ego Bright, Okeke Chidubem, and Okonkwo Adaobi from Mount Olive College. Let's applaud as we bring on our host, Roy Daniels. In the words of David Valente, science is the discovering of things we already know, right? Welcome to another preliminary episode of Interspace Spark National Science Competition Nigeria 4.0. Proudly brought to you by Interspace, transaction solutions you can depend on. Final slots are gradually getting filled up, and I have nine super sparks that are eager to battle it out for the three available spots at the semi finals. If you're a first time viewer, let me explain how the competition works. This is Interspeed Spark National Science Competition Nigeria 4.0. We have nine preliminary episodes where we have 81 super sparks compete. We'll cut them down to 27 semi finalists, and at the end of the day, we're going to have nine finalists that will compete and only one person will be crowned the champion. The winner of Interspeed Spark National Science Competition Nigeria 4.0 will get 7.5 million Naira, which covers a five-year university scholarship, inclusive of monthly stipends, a brand new laptop, and the bragging rights as Nigeria's best STEM student. The second place winner will get 4 million Naira, which covers a three-year university scholarship, inclusive of monthly stipends, and a brand new laptop. While the third place winner will get 1 million Naira, which covers a one-year university scholarship and monthly stipends. And I know these prizes are so amazing. They are courtesy of our sponsor, InterSwitch. I'm going to tell you how you can win your fair share of 100,000 Naira, but that will be after this break. Stay with us. Two decades ago, we flipped the switch, flooded the dark continent with light, created an industry, Open the doors that ushered in the future. Africa is emerging. Visionaries are evolving. But it wasn't always this way. Before the beginning, cash ruled the streets and crime was its aid. Africa was broken, coping with the darkness. Until we founded the switch and turned on the future. 20 years after, the dark continent is now bursting with innovation and we're just getting started. Until Africa is borderless, limitless, we are never stopping. Welcome to the Odyssey, the first experience. The future begins today. This is InterSwitch Spark National Science Competition Nigeria 4.0, proudly brought to you by InterSwitch, transaction solutions you can depend on. It is now time for you to win big in our home quiz. 10 small viewers will win 10,000 Naira each, courtesy of our sponsor InterSwitch, simply by answering our home quiz correctly. But make sure you are a quick teller subscriber. If you don't have one, quickly download the Quick Teller app and register your account to start winning. Here is your home quiz question. Which one of these is a luminous object? A. Shiny socket. B. Plain mirror. C. Battery. D. Lighted candle. Here are our winners from last week.
Congratulations to you. But before we get into the competition tonight, let us celebrate our Spark Hero. Our Spark Hero of the Week is... Here is the story of determination, dedication and commitment. From not making it to the finals of the Interswitch Spark Science Competition to becoming the 2022 overall best candidate in the Unified Tertiary Matriculation Examinations is Adebayo Eimofe, an indigene of Ekiti State. Adebayo Eimofe, a student of Loyola District College, Abuja, participated in the 2021 Interswitch Spark Science Competition and got off the train at the semis. With dedication and commitment, and within one year, Eimofe walked on his speed and accuracy and became the overall top scorer at the 2022 Unified Tertiary Matriculation Examinations. From the 1,761,338 who wrote the 2022 Unified Tertiary Matriculation Examinations, AIMOFE clinched the top spot by scoring 362. With MIT USA and Computer Engineering in mind, who says dedication doesn't pay? You too could be the next AIMOFE. Keep your gaze on your vision always. You know, it was just like yesterday, uh, Imo Fair Adebayo was just standing in, on that podium and he was as hopeful as each and every one of you. So, Super Sparks, who is going to be the next Imo Fair? Fantastic. Farida, can you tell me how inspired you were by Imo Fair's story? I try to do well in my upcoming exams. As much as I would love to have a little bit of a chit chat, I will do that much later. I am just really eager to get into the foundation round. Interest Spark is played in two levels, foundation and advanced. In the foundation round, our Super Sparks have equal chances of attempting 16 general science questions within a 15 second window. Marks will be awarded based on individual accuracy and speed. Super Sparks for question in this round, the first five to get the correct answer will get 10 points, while others with the correct answer to the same question will earn five points. Here comes foundation round question one. From the figure shown, find the value of P. A, 70 degrees, B, 25 degrees, C, 50 degrees, D, 65 degrees. From the figure shown, find the value of P. Correct option is A. Question two, if a ball were released from a height of 20 meter, how long would it take the ball to reach the ground? Is it three seconds, four seconds, two seconds, or 10 seconds? If a ball were released from a height of 20 meter, how long would it take the ball to reach the ground? Correct option is C. Only Azim and Okonkwo provided the correct answer. Question three, an ointment is 10% effective reducing a fungi population to 4,500. What was the original fungi population? Is it 4,550, 5,500, 5,100, and 5,000? And ointment, correct option is D. Only Okonkwo got the correct answer. Okonkwo, how did you arrive at your answer? I just looked at the figures. Um... Well done. Question four. Efficiency of conduction in liquids and gases compared to solids is A, more efficient, B, varying efficiency, C, equally efficient, D, less efficient. Efficiency of conduction in liquids and gases compared to solids is? Correct option is D, less efficient. Apart from Okeke, Okonko, and Farida, also Mobology, the rest of the Super Sparks provided the right answer. Question five. Find the sum of the first 20 terms of the series, 8, 12, 16, up to 96. A. 1,040, B, 1,400, C, 960, D, 920. Find the sum of the first 20 terms of the series 8, 12, 16, up to 96. Question six. Rhodophyta are A, green algae, B, black algae, C, brown algae, D, red algae. Rhodophyta are Apart from Azim and Farida, the rest of the Super Sparks provided the correct answer. Question seven, what is half of the sum two over three and four over nine? A, one over three, B, five over nine, C, three over two, D, five over two. What is the half of the sum two over three and four over nine? Our results are in. Okay, okay, Okonkwo, Farida, Azim, please impute your answer within the 15 seconds window. Omobola G, bright, better luck next time. Question eight, what is the resultant 
resistance of the circuit in the image show? Is it 3.6, 11, 7, or 9 ohms? What is the resultant resistance of the circuit in the image show? Our answers are in. Daniel, Bright, Farida, and Azim, you did not impute your answer within the 15 seconds window. Uche and OKK, you provided the incorrect answer. Better luck next time. We're now halfway through the foundation round. The foundation round will continue after this break. Stay with us. Hmm. Let me tell you a story. Our story blooms over two decades ago in a humble university dorm room where the weight of the dark put a strain on our hands, a stain on the sheet where we mapped out our plans. But innovation lit our eyes with a fire to blaze the trail, to change Africa. One solution, one transaction at a time. Our ears listen to the chimes, the buzzing tune of bright ideas. We stretched out our hands, and remember what we did? We flipped the switch. We flipped the switch, it was no ordinary motion. It was to herald a new notion. It is a champion's charge, your invitation to stand on our shoulders. It is your time for innovation, so go ahead. Flip that switch, build that business, scale that hitch. Africa's future is waiting on us, and what looks like the sky is only the dew. We are on the brink of something new, because at InterSwitch, we never stop. So you don't stop. Welcome back. This is still InterSwitch Spark National Science Competition Nigeria 4.0, proudly brought to you by InterSwitch, transaction solutions you can depend on. Before we went on the break, our Super Sparks have attempted eight questions in the foundation round. It is now time for them to attempt question number nine. KCL03 decomposes in the presence of MnO2. This is an example of what type of reaction? A. Double decomposition. B. Catalytic. C. Combination. D. Hydrolysis. KCL03 decomposes in the presence of MnO2. The correct option is B, catalytic. Daniel, how did you arrive at your answer? I've seen something like this before. Okay, so it's, it's just out of photographic memory. Well, I hope your guesswork would help you much more. Question 10. A single force which produces the same effect as a set of forces acting together at a point is known as, is it resultant, resistant, gravity, or component, a single force which produces the same effect as a set of forces acting together at a point is known as the? Correct option is A. All my super sparks got the correct answer. Round of applause for them. <laughs> question 11. Q equals 7P square. Q and P are A, inversely related, B, directly related, C, not related, D, constants. Q equals 7P squared, Q and P are? Correct option is B. Super sparse, you can see your scores, Bright and Farida. I trust you'll break your leg in the next question, okay? Well done to the rest of the super sparks. Question 12. Which of the following readings cannot be accurately determined with a meter rule? A, 3.50 cm, B, 3.57 cm, C, 3.05 cm, D, 3.35 cm. Which of the following readings cannot be accurately determined with a meter rule? Correct option is B. Only Azim, Farida, Omobolaji, and Uche, also Okonkwo got the correct answer. To the rest of the super sparks, you do better in the next question. Question 13. The factorization of x squared plus xy plus 2x plus 2y is, is it x plus 2, brackets, 2 plus y, is it x plus 2, bracket x plus y, is it x plus 2, y, bracket 2, x plus y, is it x plus 2, y, bracket x plus y. Correct option is B. Steven, Uche, OKK, you provided the correct answers. Well done to you, to the rest of the super sparks. Better luck next time. Question 14. A force of 5 Newton acts at a point y on a rod x, y, z, as shown in this diagram. If x, y, z is 2 meter, what is the moment of the force about point Y? Is it 3, 7, 0, or 10 Newton meter? Only Steven and OKK provided the correct answer. To the rest of the super sparks, you have just two questions left. Question 15, seawater is what? Acidic, alkaline, amphoteric, neutral. Seawater is?
Our results are in. Omobolaji, OKK, and Okonkwo. You did not provide the correct answer. We have now come to the final question in the foundation round, and this question will determine the super spats that make it to the advanced round and those who unfortunately leave the competition at this moment. Here comes question 16. What is the value of D in the image? A, 50 degrees. B, 60 degrees. C, 90 degrees. D, 45 degrees. What is the value of D in the image? Our results are in. Super SPACs. Now you see how well you fared in the last question. Only Uche and OKK actually provided the correct answer. It is now time for the moment of truth. Only five of you with the highest cumulative scores and timing will move on to the advanced round. Moving on to the advanced round, with a total of 100 points and an average response time of 10.1 seconds, the first super spark is Steven. <laughs> Joining Steven are Uche, Okonkwo, Daniel. Okay, okay, congratulations. <laughs> to my dear super sparks, Omobolaji, Azim, Bright and Farida, thank you so much for coming on this competition. You guys are amazing. Okay. It's still Industry Spark National Science Competition, Nigeria 4.0. With 12.5 million naira worth of university scholarship up for grabs, I have five super sparks who are eager to get their own slots in the semi-finals. But the big question is, who will qualify? And who will unfortunately leave us tonight? We'll find out soon. Two decades ago, we flipped the switch, flooded the dark continent with light, created an industry, opened the doors that ushered in the future. Africa is emerging, visionaries are evolving, but it wasn't always this way. Before the beginning, cash ruled the streets and crime was its aid. Africa was broken, coping with the darkness. Until we founded the switch and turned on the future. 20 years after, the dark continent is now bursting with innovation and we're just getting started. Until Africa is borderless, limitless, we are never stopping. Welcome to the Odyssey, the first experience. The future begins today. Congratulations, Super Sparks. You're one step closer to the semi-finals, so you have to give it your all because at the end of the advanced round, only three of you will proceed to the semi-finals. To determine the order of play, our Super Sparks will have to take a turn. Today's take a turn is a puzzle. Here comes the take a turn question. Match the following substances with the corresponding processes. The substances are food, carbon dioxide, feces, cilia. The processes are respiration, digestion, ejection, movement. Steven is first to solve the puzzle. Yes, Uche is next, followed by Daniel. We're waiting on Okonkwo and Okeke, who will be the fourth super spark. Yes, Okonkwo, you're the fourth, followed by Okeke. Well done to all of you. Steven, are you ready to spark? My name is Manu Steven, I'm ready to spark. Now is your time to spark. What is the important product obtained from heating an organic acid with an alcohol? Awesome. When potassium iodide solution is electrolyzed, at what electrode will the potassium appear? Anode. What is the empirical formula of hexane? C6, H14. C3, E7. How many electrons are there in calcium ion? 18. If a radioactive atom of carbon-14 emits a, an alpha particle, what will be the mass number of the new atom? 10. Oxygen reacts with the metals? As if, um, basic. Hemoglobin combines readily with oxygen to form. Hemoglobin. Ability of organisms to respond to stimuli. Metabolism. All green plants can manufacture their own food. What is the trajectory of a projectile? Parabola. Well done, Stephen. <laughs> Uche, are you ready to spark? My name is Kusi Uche, and I'm ready to spark. Now is your time to spark. What is the Earth's sole natural satellite? Sun. What is the unit of impulse? Newton meter. 
Which component of the solar system dominates its gravitational wave? Sun. What type of beams does a parabolic mirror produce? Divergent. What type of motion is ex exhibited by a particle moving about the same point several times at, in at regular intervals? Linear motion. Which instrument is most appropriate for measuring the diameter of a table tennis ball? Metal school gauge. How many protons are there in a sodium ion? Twelve. When 14.6C emits an alpha particle, it will form an atom of which element? That's your last question. You can take your time. Carbon. Well done, Uche. Daniel. Yes, sir. Are you ready to spark? My name is Amosi Daniel, and I'm ready to spark. Now is your time to spark. Elements that ionize by electron gain are generally? Non-metals. All oxides that can react with both acids and bases. Apoteric. Which element is represented by the chemical symbol AS? Astatine. Basic oxides are generally oxides of? Metals. Which of the following processes describes the combustion of magnesium in air? Oxidation. What general group contains all elements whose atoms are ionized by electron loss? Group 1. Which variable is kept constant in the verification of Boyle's law? Pressure. The maximum transfer of energy that takes place in the, at natural frequency of a vibrating system is Pass. called... The high voltage across the spark plugs of an ignition system in a motor car is supplied Pass. by what? That's your last question. Well done, Daniel. <laughs> Okonkwo Adobe, are you ready to spark? My name is Okonkwo Adobe and I'm ready to spark. Now is your time to spark. What controls the opening and closing of a vagina during birth? Cervix. The collective name for all external parts of the female reproductive organ is? Vagina. The formation of gametes is called? Meiosis. The arrangement of ovules within the ovary is referred to as? Pass. Fusion of egg and sperm is termed? Fertilization. Tadpole uses what for gaseous exchange? Gills. Which of the following phenomena does not support the wave model of light? Pass. The property of a fluid that is used to determine its suitability as a lubricant is its... Viscosity. In the absence of gravitational force, the weight of a body is... Zero. What is the full meaning of NAVDAC? That's your last question. The full meaning of NAVDAC. National Agency for Food and Drug Administration Control. Well done, Okonkwo. It's been quite heated in the advanced round, and we have OKK left to play in the advanced round. OKK. Yes, you. Are you ready to spark? My name is Shiba OKK, and I'm ready to spark. Well, now is your time to spark. Sperm cells are produced in the... Testes. What collects and stores sperms temporarily? The blood sperms. Fragmentation is an example of what reproduction? Asexual. The adult toad uses three different respiratory systems, which are? Skin, lungs, and gills. The central wall of the heart is called? Skip. The red color of the cell is due to the presence of, of ion compound called? Hemoglobin. The largest part of the circle divided by the cord is called? Um, skip. A cord divides the circle into how many segments? I mean, skip. The line segment which joins 16th point on circumference is called, that's your last question. Diameter. Well done, OKK. <laughs> Super Sparks, well done. So far, so good. You have performed to the best of your ability. We have a tie between Daniel and OKK. Every time we have a tie, we need to proceed to the sudden end, which is the tiebreaker. So Daniel, OKK, I'm going to ask a question. And the first Super Spark to hit the buzzer will answer the question within five seconds. If you don't provide the correct answer, the other person will qualify. Do we understand? Yes, sir. Yes. Here comes the sudden end question. 
The process by which liquid vegetable oils are converted into solid. Daniel, you're first. You have five seconds. Hydrogenation. Hydrogenation. You know, I told you if you give me the correct answer, you move on to the semi final, and if you do not, you're out. Congratulations, Daniel. Hydrogenation is the correct answer. You have secured your spot in the semi finals. It is now time for you to win big in our home quiz. 10 small viewers will win 10,000 Naira each, courtesy of our sponsor InterSwitch, simply by answering our home quiz correctly. But make sure you are a Quick Teller subscriber. If you don't have one, quickly download the Quick Teller app and register your account to start winning. Here is your home quiz question. Which one of these is a luminous object? A. Shiny socket. B. Plain mirror. C. Battery. D. Lighted candle. Hmm. Let me tell you a story. Our story blooms over two decades ago in a humble university dorm room where the weight of the dark put a strain on our hands, a stain on the sheet where we mapped out our plans. But innovation lit our eyes with a fire to blaze the trail, to change Africa. One solution, one transaction at a time. Our ears listened to the chimes, the buzzing tune of bright ideas. We stretched out our hands, and remember what we did? We flipped the switch. We flipped the switch, it was no ordinary motion. It was to herald a new notion. It is a champion's charge, your invitation to stand on our shoulders. It is your time for innovation. So go ahead, flip that switch. Build that business, scale that hitch. Africa's future is waiting on us. And what looks like the sky is only the dew. We are on the brink of something new. Because at InterSwitch, we never stop. So you don't stop. It's been another exhilarating episode of InterSwitch Park National Science Competition Nigeria 4.0. We just saw Steven, Daniel, and Okonkwo secure their spots at the semi-finals. Catch us next week and see other super spots that will qualify to the semi-finals. My name is Hero Daniels. Do not forget to follow us on all social media platforms at Interspace Spark. Remember that every expert in anything was born to be human. So keep watching. InterSwitch SPAC is an InterSwitch Switch A Future Initiative.